I'm back today to go over the clothes that I wore and during, like on my hike, while I was hiking, I wore these and they're just from Sports Academy. It's their brand. So it's the BCG brand. And I just had to tighten up the elastic a lot as the hike went on. But these are super comfy. I tried a, a hiking skirt for one day, didn't like that. I tried one of those uh, crazy shirts. I'll show you in a second. Did a day for that and I didn't like it. And then I had a different shirt I started off with, but when I got down to or Outdoor 76, I picked up this Patagonia. And this is what I used the entire hiking trip, the hiking through hiker. This is what I used the entire through hike. So that was my most comfortable shirt. And then I used merino wool underwear and I started off, I had, um, I used these Fruit of the Loom sport bras and I just had two of them and they worked great. I went through a couple darn tough socks just because they started getting really rough. And so I changed them out. And so I had two pair normally. So this pair is the pair that Tin Cup gave me, but I used these and then I had another pair in my bag. And so I used two pair and, um, and then when it got, when these came, when Tin Cup gave me another pair, I actually had three and I wasn't going to send one back. So I just kept the extra pair in my backpack. And uh, I always put Vaseline on my feet at night. And so I would put my socks over my feet so it wouldn't get my quilt all nasty. And then in the middle of the night when my feet were really hot, I'd take them off and the Vaseline would be gone already. So, and then this tank top is from Walmart, super light, very comfortable. This was my pajamas most of the time. I did have to hike in it um, when I was in New York because my, at first I thought my so a cat peed on my shirt when I was trying to let it dry because it smelled like ammonia, but I think it was really my body breaking, trying to break down my proteins because my carbs were too low. So I hiked in my, my tank top and ended up getting a couple raw spots on my back. Um, but the shorts and the shirt, those were my go-to all the time. And I just, they were comfy and I just really like that. So um, I'm gonna get that funny looking shirt. I can't remember who, you'll know when you see the shirt if you're into the hiking world. Cause I saw them at trail days and I could use it out here in Florida during hunting season and it would be great. But for me, it was too hot because I started trying to use it during the heat wave in the summer and all I wanted was that green shirt back. So, hold on. Here is the shirt. I can't remember the company, but everybody seems to love them. And the guy that owns it is super nice. I almost bought a shirt at Trail Days, but I'm not into all this wildness on my shirt. I felt like I was going crazy, but, oh, Jolly Gear, it's right here. Uh, but I think I'll use it here during hunting season, which would be perfect. But um, John from Pennsylvania, one of my trail angels, he and I had the same shirt. So one of the days that I was wearing this, he was doing trail magic for us and he was uh, wearing the same shirt. So I think we've got a picture together, but it's got a hood with a place to put your ponytail. And then they've got a couple other shirts that aren't so loud. The uh, Topa one, I would have loved to have, or the one with the uh, looks like trees and stuff on it. That would be that would be what I'd like, but it's growing on me. It's comfortable. I just felt like it was too hot for me. So uh, I stuck, I went back to my green one. And then I already told you guys in the last video about my daily long sleeve pants and my long sleeve merino wool shirt that I picked up uh, towards the end of the trail because I didn't have a long sleeve with me. So that is it. My hair's a hot mess now because I've been messing around with stuff, but hope that helps. If you guys have any questions about clothing, uh, I will be more than happy to answer any questions you have. 
Uh, you can let me know whether you guys do the same thing. If you're, uh, I would do less is better, but you gotta make sure that you're protecting yourself. But I don't know, this worked for me. I don't know what works for you, but I was pretty pleased with the, uh, with my final clothing. I sent some things home that was just a little excessive. And right now I can't even remember what those were. I think I had another long sleeve shirt that I sent home. Um, extra pair of socks that I sent home. I bought a shirt during trail days so I wouldn't have to wear the same shirt every day. I sent that home. Um, when I went to um, Outdoor 76 and bought my Patagonia, the green one that I wore, I sent the other one home. And then I had two pair of shorts, the same exact brand, just one was blue and one was black. I sent the blue ones home. And I bought a skirt, I ended up sending that home because I didn't, I felt like it was heavy and hot. Um, but I may use that this winter when I'm out hiking. We have a cold front coming in after this hurricane, so maybe I'll be able to use it then. Okay, that's my clothes. And I think the next thing I'm gonna do is um, what I had in my food bag minus my food. So bye-bye for now, peace out.